Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Magnus, and I'm sure that you have already seen that Checkpoint is offering like CCSA, CCSE, and those courses can be quite a lot, and they cover a lot of topics that maybe you don't need if you're only working for a service desk or a help desk or just getting started with Checkpoint. It can be a bit overwhelming. So this course is more or less aimed for you. This is a crash course within Checkpoint. So you will learn the terminology so you know what you're talking about and you will also learn how to create modify and check for rules more or less how to use the smart console and how to navigate within the checkpoint so to manage a checkpoint firewall you need a smart console and in recent versions meaning r81 and above there is a web smart console but as of may 2022 the web smart console is not up to par with the smart console meaning it doesn't have the same functionality. It still has the ability to, to make you view and do some light modification within rules. But if you're going to work with it and you actually want to utilize all features, you should still use the web, the smart console. The drawback of the smart console is that it's a Windows application. So it doesn't work for Linux, it doesn't work for Mac. The web smart console is still evolving. It's still getting new features. It will be up to par sometime, but I don't know when. So the web smart console or the smart console, it allows you to connect to the management server. And the management server can either be an SMS or it can be an MDS. And the difference between this is an MDS can host multiple management servers. So if you're a large organization, maybe you have some different divisions that should have their own more or less separate network and they will be administered by different staff and you want real segmentation. And another user case for this is for MSPs where you have different customers, they have their own management server and they control their own files, etc. But either way, the management server, they control one or more firewalls. So one management server can still control a thousand firewalls. You can still have multiple policies. The policies is the rule base that you apply on the firewall itself. And one of the biggest thing when it comes to checkpoint is the scale. So this management server, it can be multiple hosts. You can divide up different functionalities within the management server on different machines. So you get a lot of performance, you get a lot of disk space. If you have a huge amount of firewalls and you have a huge amount of log, then you maybe have one, two or three dedicated log servers that only handles log traffic. So one of the biggest thing when it comes to Checkpoint and why so many large organizations and service providers are, are using Checkpoint is the ability to scale. And the firewalls themselves, they are of course clusters. You shouldn't build firewalls that are not clusters, but you can have a really large number of firewalls to each of these management stations. When it comes to the firewalls itself, this can be run in multiple ways. And one way is running them on appliances. Appliances are purpose-built boxes from Checkpoint that you can purchase from them. And this can be small home stuff, more or less uh, small business stuff, or real fat appliances that you can cluster in multiple ways when you're using uh, Checkpoint's technology Maestro more or less than you have an orchestrator and you can put 52 appliances behind this and use them as one unit in one cluster meaning you can push several hundred gigs of traffic so that's really cool but Checkpoint is a software company so the software can also be run in private and public clouds so you can run it in Azure in AVS, but you can also run it on your own VMware environment and you can integrate it together with like Cisco ACI, VMware NSX. So you can do really cool stuff when it comes to integration with Checkpoint. And the last way to run it is to run it on open servers, meaning you can purchase like an HP box or an IBM box or Cisco box and install the Checkpoint software on this, and more or less it becomes an appliance. And this scales from two cores up to 48 cores. So imagine how much traffic a 48 core box can manage, 
and then you can cluster multiple of these boxes to handle even more traffic. So that's really cool, but we will go into that more later on. And as I mentioned before, the management station itself, it can manage several gateways, meaning several firewalls. Shakepoint calls the firewalls gateways. Um, and one management server can manage several gateways or several firewalls. And these firewalls can be placed in different places, meaning they can be on-prem, they can be in public cloud, and they can be in multiple public clouds. And you can push the same rule base or different rule base, depending on how you want to design it. But there is a lot of flexibility when it comes to this. And when it comes to the rule base itself, this doesn't need to be applied with like IP addresses. You can actually use dynamic objects such as identities or devices. And you can combine this together with like content based, for example, applications or specific data types. And you can push this out to different gateways depending on where you want to have it. So remember what I said before. Checkpoint is a software based company, meaning you can install their software on multiple types of devices, uh, appliances in, in public cloud, in private cloud, uh, on that on uh, like servers from IBM or HP, they need to be specific servers to, that use specific network cards and so on. But there are lists that you can use for this. And then also remember that you can scale out the management stations. So you can have dedicated log service, dedicated management service, and you can scale out the, the firewalls themselves, meaning you can have clusters based on one, two, or several appliances or several boxes to manage a lot of traffic. And then you can divide up all of this stuff into like tenants, meaning you can have specific customers or specific departments in part of the management station or part of the firewall itself. So the, the stuff can be multi-tenant. So the scalability and flexibility of Checkpoint, that's what I think is more or less the coolest thing. And one thing I forgot to mention, Checkpoint is only working with security. They do not make servers, they do not make storage, they do not make routers or switches. They only make security products. And this makes it easier to integrate with other vendors. And this makes it easier to have cooperation and do really cool stuff with other vendors. Instead of having like, yeah, you're competing on our site. We don't want you to integrate with this. It will not work. You should use our products, etc." So the scalability, flexibility, and the fact that they only work with security products. That's why I like Checkpoint. And this is why I continue to work with it because I think that's a differentiator between different vendors and Checkpoint. So I think this is it for this short introduction video, and I hope you will like this series. Take care, see you in the next one.